A Portland veteran put his survival skills to the test with a little help from man's best friend. Fox's Iowa Elise is here with us this morning to tell us how the two survived their call to the wild. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, enduring Maine's backcountry can be tough, but Chad Brown was able to conquer the elements with his service dog Axe by his side and National Geographic's latest series called to the wild. I caught up with Chad to talk with him about what his, his experience was like on the show and what the pair learned along the way. What are you doing, huh? What's going on, huh? These two, they're having fun now, but not too long ago, veteran Chad Brown and his service dog Axe found themselves in a much more challenging situation on a survival competition show. It's National Geographic's called to the wild. And it puts you in a survival situation to where you have to uh, learn, well, you have to work together as a team in order to survive. And so the dog cannot just be just a pet or a companion or even a service dog. Uh, the dog has to kind of rise to the occasion as a partner in a survival adventure. And rise to the occasion they did. They had fun along the way. The the best part, of course, is was was uh, was catching fish. <laughs> but they had their tough times too. I don't want to say the worst thing, but the hardest thing was, uh, was being able to um, uh, separate myself from Axe and allow Axe to be himself. Uh, you know, he's born and raised as a service dog and he's 100% trained to serve me and help me through my PTSD, you know, and, and part of that process when I was out there was me being able to rely on Axe, but at the same time, letting go of the service part and allowing Axe to um, grow into that adventure. Axe and Chad have been a great team for a while, and he couldn't be more grateful for him. Me and Axe, we were paired together through an organization called Northwest Battle Buddies, and um, they're a phenomenal program. They pair uh, service dogs with, uh, with veterans that's fighting PTSD, TBI. I have the ability to function and operate uh, with minimum support, and Axe is is like my lifeline, but my support system. Answering the call to the wild was an adventure for the both of them. When asked if he would do it again, Chad quickly answered yes. But I also think this one of these experiences is not meant for me to go back, it's meant for me to move forward and take what I've learned, especially of learning about Axe even more and applying it into my future uh, with Axe. Such a special pair. Now, Chad takes his love for the outdoors a step further by connecting youth to vets in the outdoors with his organization, Soul River. And let me just tell you, Axe was just like the sweetest dog. He's <laughs> so, such a great guy. So I'm happy I was able to talk with these two. That's a neat story. Io, thank you.